back class 12 today we will be discussing the different discussing different topic from the chapter franchise and representation so today's topic is reasons behind the acceptance of universal adult franchise so i have discussed about so we have already discussed about meaning and franchise of uh, meaning and definition of franchise so on and so forth so today we will be understanding what are the reasons behind you acceptance that there is a uniformity of acceptance of universal adult franchise so let's begin so uh, there are many reasons and many arguments for stating that there is a universal acceptance of universal adult franchise so the following the following have been the main arguments in support of universal adults uh, adult friends so today we are just discussing about support which are the statement or which are the uh, uh, arguments which supports that universal adult franchise has you uh, acceptance okay number one is let's talk about full in tune with the theory of democracy so by now you know what is democracy right you have an idea about democracy so democracy is a government the democracy is a government of all the people of the states this naturally needs the grant of the right to franchise to all the people democracy essentially needs universal adult franchise it's very simple okay so uh, in democracy, in a democratic form of government, there is people, okay? There is people and what happens that people naturally elect certain person or representative, representative that will look after their citizens or the people. So democracy essentially needs universal adult franchise without which in every five years of term people will get chance to elect their own representative then then there is a process of uh, self-rule democracy okay self-rule in democracy we need self-rule so it can be achieved with universal adult franchise in a democratic form of government now justified on the basis of equality justified on the basis of equality right to equality means legal social political and economic equality of all the people right to equality means legal social political and economic equality of the people as universal adult franchise is based on the principle of equality of all so universal universal adult franchise is based on the principle of equality principle of equality so this becomes your second argument third argument is it ensures greater participation of the people in the politics universal adult franchise ensures equal and full participation of all men and women in the organization and working of the governments okay in the working of the government so means universal adult franchise gives equal opportunity to the uh, women as well as men in participating in politics either in doing working in the governance so not just uh, in the political sphere but uh, men and women have gay have uh, received an equal opportunity or equal participation in the working mechanism of governance be it in different departments also okay so politics relates to all hence must be hence all must get the right in it and it ensures that all people in that ambit of a country should get uh, the right to um, use universal adult franchise number four signifies the equal citizenship of all people of the state signifies the equal citizenship of all people of state 
citizenship of the state is the property of every member of the state okay if you if you are born in india then you are all, you are capable of getting citizenship of an indian okay equal citizenship stands for equal right what does this uh, citizenship gives uh, citizenship provides equal rights okay universal order franchise hence uh, sorry universal order franchise signifies equal political rights of the citizen and who constitute the state so equal political right means full participation of women and men in the organization not just participation but choosing the representative they have an equal right that every sit every citizen of india irrespective of caste color creed sex religion they have an citizens uh, they have a citizenship and that citizenship helps uh, provides uh, to um, to get equal political rights uh, that particularly constitutes the state okay because in a state there are four elements kindly don't forget there are four elements that population territory territory governance and sovereignty so it itself revolves around this one and population be whether it be small or big or large um, of that particular state they have uh, universal adult franchise to represent their representatives okay moving forward uh, this was number four and number five is laws of the state equally apply to all the person okay now, if there is a law of a state that is equally applied to the person therefore all should get the right to vote the, everybody should give right to vote since law of the state are binding on all citizen law which uh, law of state is binding factor binding factor of state okay to people binding factor of state to the people and they sh all people should have a right to vote and laws applied to all and, and right to franchise must be available to the men and women it's very simple okay laws of state is acts as a binding factor of state to the people and the people uh, or all citizens have their uh, this uh, it is a natural and essential uh, right that people will be given as they have right to vote also okay and they have a they have a right to choose their people universal adult franchise universal adult franchise is a great uh, is a great is a great means of political education so it is a great means of political education people can learn their political values beliefs orientation through participation in the politics so it's very simple universal adult franchise gives that uh, it imparts political education that people can learn different kind of values that um, that their uh, generation have been followed and new generation has to accompany new kind of uh, philosophies that will make a better better state and uh, with the help with of with participation in politics not just playing a dumb uh, dumb role but there should be an active participation in the politics so that the political education is imparted via universal adult franchise so Seven source of stability and better obedience of law. When all and when all men and women use their what right to vote and other political rights, they become willing partners. They become willing partners because they will be consciously known about their rights, what whom to choose and what not to do, etc. Okay, willing partners of political process. This leads to a better obedience of law by them, which ensures political stability. So, if there is like better understanding of laws, um, or and if they have a capacity to choose their own representatives, and they understand their political rights, and what ultimately happens, there will be a better understanding of the political process and that will automatically leads to the better obedience and ensure stability in the state number eight means of national integration 
when all people exercise their right to vote and collective part, collectively participate in the process of organizing a democratic government they naturally get integrated into one nation so so it is like very simple like if uh, like uh, when all people come together okay um, by exercising their right to vote for what collective participation in order to form an organization in a order uh, in order to form a democratic government democratic government what happens then people naturally gets integrated as one nation so this also follow ups so then nine there is a less chance of revolution because there is obedience there is a better understanding that will lead to the less chance of re revolution because under this system universal order franchise all the people gets involved in the political process by using their right to vote and other political rights okay they also change they also change the government by using their right to vote such as there is fair there fair is no need for change of the rulers do through a revolution the elected government enjoys the confidence of the people so on this note on this note what happens that uh, if people gets involved in a political process by using uh, their right to vote uh, and they change the government like in every five years through the process of election they have a right to choose their own rulers choose their own revolution and they have a certain understanding that we don't require any kind of revolution to change the government so people have a confidence over their government will be staying for next five years or ten years and if a people think that okay now the government should be changed then the collective will of the people can change the government so there is a less chance of revolution okay every now every everyone pay taxes therefore everyone should get the right to vote um, and all other rights the state levies taxes on all the people all the people are duty bound to pay all direct and indirect tax it is therefore essential that everyone should get equal rights and must include the right to vote so every individual or a citizen of the uh, of that state is paying taxes paying taxes directly or indirectly because we need to pay tax without with the help of tax only a nation is run okay why paying tax is important why why the question is out here because uh, when you pay tax it helps the government to ensure that roads you travel on are safe and well maintained um, not only just roads and uh, road safety but also they they are that uh, money is uh, transferred to build different infrastructures such as public libraries and parks and uh, taxes are used to fund the many types of government programs that helps the needy people or less fortunate people so these um, universal order fund size ensures that everyone pays taxes and with paying taxes the they will get the right to vote and other rights also okay that is directly or indirectly uh, essential for the state so now uh, source of support for the community grant of universal order franchise to a citizen acts as a support uh, support system for the community living all people feel legal and e politically equal so the, it acts as a support system for the community because people are living in a society but that people should have free and legal free and legal political equality without which it can't survive so these universal order franchise ensures these things encourages the minorities to feel secure and uh, as equal citizen with an equal right to vote so the grant of equal rights to franchise to all other citizens belonging to both majority as well as minority community creates a feeling of security among the minorities too so minorities 
minorities are those like minorities are a culturally or ethnic or a group that that coexist but it is sub subordinated by a dominated dominated group okay dominant group okay so like uh, majority and minority okay if majority is there and minority group are there this majority somewhat dominates this minority group but universal order franchise universal order franchise ensures that these minorities are these minorities groups are also respected and can get their own um, they have a right right to participate okay so these are the things that uh universal order franchise looks after so these are the 10 points that uh, we have discussed and we have the arguments regarding why universal order franchise has a uh, universal acceptance okay so you can explain it in your own words also it's very simple and easy so till then stay safe and take care and you have already completed it, your notes also so try solving the question answers too till then stay safe take care